coming up in Mizzerk-tastic. anytime hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home perfect for families and classrooms hi my friend today we are going to be learning about and making art for autumn I love autumn mostly because there are pumpkins in the autumn and I love pumpkins so so much it's always my goal every single year to grow the biggest pumpkin possible every year I'm like I want to grow a thousand pound pumpkin this is my goal every single year every year I get a little bit bigger and maybe one day I will reach my dreams of having a really big pumpkin I don't know how I would move a thousand pound pumpkin that might be a problem but still a good goal and it's good to have goals all right so autumn is a beautiful season that comes right after summer and it's right before winter and it's when the temperatures start to get a little cooler uh, it's not so hot the leaves begin to change colors all the vegetables and crops are all ready to be harvested so you might see a lot of farmers out there in their tractors collecting corn and other types of vegetables did you know that when it is autumn in the northern hemisphere it's actually spring in the southern southern hemisphere it's true, it's not always autumn all over the world as the seasons are different everywhere. So it's always the opposite in the northern and hem uh, southern hemisphere. <laughs> all right, let's take a look at some things that we think of with autumn. So there are scarecrows, there are apples, corn, pumpkins, and acorns. Now let's art studio where we're going to draw a cute corn but also make some scarecrow art. Let's make some art! All right we're gonna do a cute corn. Two curving lines up and over. I did my little thin, so I'm gonna bring it down for some variation. There we go. Okay, we're gonna add the corn, so we're gonna add some curvy lines up. Hop it over. Circle on either side with a bigger circle and a smaller circle in each eye. And then we can color in the dark, lovely eyes, leaving those circles white. Line between the eyes. Color in the dark of the color in the dark of the mouth. 
leaving that tongue white. And I'm gonna add some hash jakes. For some corn texture. And I'm even gonna add a little oval beneath each eye. So cute. Color in all of your corn with your choice, medium. I'm gonna leave a little bit of white just to Highlights. Just like that, our cute core is done. Hey, we're gonna make our scarecrow artwork. Let's grab a black wax crayon to make our scarecrow. Okay, big U. Remember, we gotta add some sound effects. I go over it a few times just to thicken it up. Okay, next we're gonna do zigzag for straw hair and zigzag below where the straw is coming out around the neck. Curving line down for the shirt. You can even add a button if you have room. Curving line. Two lines up. Square, or sorry, rectangle on top. Two circles on each, on each side. And then I'm gonna color it in, leaving a little bit of white. Triangle nose, a little smiley, but, but it's cause so I'm gonna add some stitches because it was sewn on. So cute, okay, let's color it in. Now, let me see what I got for colors. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do, nope, I can't decide. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do orange. You can pick your own colors. If you don't like the colors I'm picking, you do you. I'm gonna do orange for the burlap, which is typically brown, but uh, that's kind of a lighter color. You can always mix it in brown, I guess. Now I'm using temper paint, just some dollar store temper paint to be honest.
yellow for it. Oh, good thing I didn't use it. I was about thinking about using yellow for the face, but then I forgot. It's a scarecrow. He's yellow straw on the hair, and then I'm coming up below the neck. So good thing I didn't do that. this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and tag me at MizArtTastic or use the hashtag MizArtTastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.